Okay, great. I wanted to make sure that it was going. I'm so sorry. My phone. I have to use my phone. Got hairs everywhere from my cat. Uh, this is, I'm sorry if this is going to be shaky. It, I just touch my desk and I've got this connected to my desk. And this desk, everything shakes. I do not like this, um, the holder for this phone. I'm going to get a new one because I do not like this one. I could not get my webcam at all to work. So I decided to use my phone and uh, I set up this really pretty uh, wool material here that I got from Goodwill. I think I paid three or four dollars for it and I think it's about um trying to think. I think it's a yard and a half of fabric and I love it. I don't know what to make with it because I live in Vegas and it doesn't really get that cold here. I was thinking of making a, like a shawl for the winter out of it. Just one I could throw on my shoulders and leave uh, the house and have a button in the front. I think that would be really cute. And I've seen some really antique type of, um, here's my hands, <laughs> some antique type of stuff. So. Um, you know, to sew. I love Victorian things. And uh, yeah, here we go. Now that I turned on uh, <laughs> my phone to start doing stuff, now I'm going to start getting people trying to get a hold of me, you know? Go away, people. I'm recording. Okay. Anyway, um, this is what I come up with. Well, not everything, but. Um, this is the number 52 challenge, uh, handmade. Uh, I'm not going to do anything really fancy. I don't have a lot of material. Let me see. Probably like, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I can't get any, everything into the shot. I have to, okay. You can see my hands anyway. What I was going to try to do was um, I was going to finish this on camera. Um, I got a lot of crafts that I have set up to do. Um, if I had my webcam going, I probably would do the other crafts too on um on you know on video but i can't because it's not going to work okay what i want to do with this is i have this little piece of material oh, i'm going to come up this way and this is just like i'm just throwing this together i it's it's all about layering this week for tag number 13 which is fine but I don't have a very large um, material base to work from. I'm very limited. Uh, I just started collecting material. And uh, I've been going to the Goodwill when I can and picking up stuff. Uh, yeah. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I just decided you know, to, um, sorry, I can't even think. I just decided to put some stuff together. Hold on, my eye's so itchy. I'm sorry. I went to the eye doctor the other day, and I have allergies really bad, and she checked my eyes, and she said that a lot of my problems are, are stemmed from allergy with my eyes. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not... I have to blink a lot, and uh, she gave me a prescription for an eye drop for um, for my allergies. So I got to go get that um, and get that going too. I have uh, refreshed tears, which has been helping. 
but it's not like the greatest thing. Okay, this is what I'm doing on layering. I mean, this, I'm going to take this off. I just kind of stuck it there. But I had a piece of upholstery. I actually have about a yard of it, of a upholstery fabric. And I saw that this had some gold tones in it with some yellow and orange. And I figured that would be the my basis for gold. I know she said it doesn't matter on the color, but she started out with gold. And um, I'm just kind of layering stuff. I've, I'm, I'm just going to stitch around this. Oh, sorry. I went the wrong way. Because I want to add this. I'm going to add this little uh, doodad or whatever it is I put together. Just a little bit of a ruffle of material. And I'm very sad that I couldn't use my webcam. I, you would have been able to see um, a lot more of my desk. And it would have been out further, you know, with being able to see what I'm doing. But this is the best I can do at the moment. I guess I wouldn't do it like that. Like I said, I have very limited supplies on things. I don't have a lot of lace. Um, I have bits and pieces of lace that I had taken off of uh, garments and stuff that are even like pillows and blankets and things. I uh, I salvaged the, the lace, some shirts that I had that I didn't want to wear anymore. I cut them up and took all the lace out of them. But that's, you know, it's very limited. What I'm thinking of doing is buying some material because what I'd like to do is make some uh, ruffled strips of ruffles so that I can put them in my journals because I am doing journals now. Um, let me see if I can go over this top of this. And I wanted to see if I could, um, oh, that's, ooh, I'm getting stuck by the pins. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. Make it on the center of it. I don't know. I, I'm probably going to put a button on this too. So yeah, uh, this video will probably run about 40 minutes. We're about eight minutes in right now, so I got to keep my eye on the time. Uh, but I wanted to see if I can get my uh, number seven. I've never done tag number seven with that, with the, uh, with the hexes or the hexes. So um, I made a bunch of hexes and I they've been sitting in here. See, some of them aren't even done. And this is just some of the remnant material that I have that I bought. I bought some uh, fat quarters and uh, oh, let me cut that off. I bought some fat quarters and on different materials. Let me pull up my, I got these uh, sleeves on, you know, for my hands to keep them warm. And I've been having problems with my uh, fingers and my thumb. And anyway, yeah. So let me see. Oh, I got, I do have, let me move these out of here. So yeah, I'm going to do uh, another card. I'm going to do number seven that I haven't even done yet. I think I'm going to stick some buttons on here, too. Anyway, let me see. I 
don't know. I was thinking of... Uh, I think I'm going to use this. This isn't going to be a glamorous tag, I'll tell you. <laughs> Not at all. Let me see. This would probably be better, right? If I put this through here. I'm trying to... Um, uh, Trying to thread this. <laughs> I don't want to mess with with ends, so I'm just gonna make a knot. That I'm gonna leave over there because I want to um Ann was talking about doing a blanket stitch and she said it doesn't matter on the stitches, but let me see, get that out of the way, if I can. i got to pull this off because I'm going to get stabbed by that stupid thing. I'm sorry, like I said, it's so close, the camera. <laughs> you know what, let me see if I can move the camera up a little bit. It's good. Just close your eyes. That is so much better, I think. I'm pretty sure it's higher. Yeah. Okay. Let me put that over there. You know what? I think I'm just going to snip this because this is going to drive me. Ugh. Okay. Let me see if I can do... Let me move this. Oh. I'm really not a good sewer. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. See, this is going to get in the way. I'm not even going to worry about that until later. Okay. Yeah, she said you could use any stitches. And since I'm not that great, I'm just going to try my best with the blanket stitch. And that goes over there. I don't want to put my camera so high up that I can't see it because if it shuts off on me, which I did dump everything, there's no videos on here. So, and I do want to dump all the pictures too, if I can. I actually tried to, and then I forgot to press the button to when I was importing them onto my computer. Um, Gonna put that around that edge. I used to sew a lot when I was a kid, but I don't know, just I thought I would really enjoy getting back into sewing, uh, but I really haven't.
I think because I'm having trouble with my hands mostly, um, that I, uh, you know, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. This is going to be a real abstract. Just get rid of that. And she just said to lay everything. So that's what I was trying to do. Um, okay. I'm getting better. And my hands are starting to get hot. And my arm, so I'm going to take these sleeves off. You won't be able to see anything. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, now my hands feel better. I, my arms and my hands were getting super hot. I was like, oh, what am I doing? Okay. So yeah, I have these other projects I'm going to be doing. I I wanted to do them, you know, on uh I wanted to do them on the uh, oh, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. I'm going down and up. I wanted to do them on video, but it it's going to be very extensive. And it's all going to be, it would all be raw. I'm making these Easter, uh, Easter eggs. And they're made from, sorry, the, the camera's shaking. Uh, I got, I, well, I didn't make them. They're made out of um, paper mache. And my sister came over the other day. And she wanted to start them, so I let her do one, and she started it. And uh, she did one, and I just really wasn't in the mood to do any. And she ended up doing one, which was fine. And then, um, let me get this in the camera, sorry. And it come out okay. It come out okay. It's not done. I mean, it's just the beginnings of it. You know, she did, we're doing decoupage. So we, we're doing with napkins. So we took, um, We took the napkins and she didn't know how to do it. So I had to show her how to take the, um, how to take the images off of the napkins to put them onto the um, paper mache. And the way that I do it is I take a water pen or a water brush and I put um, water around the image that I want and then I wet it around the image and then I take my, my fingers and I go around I pull the wet and the dry away from each other so that it um it comes apart so the image oh, I hate when that happens you're trying to pierce it and it want it's moving 
and it's because I have um, upholstery material. It's harder to get through. And yeah, so that's what I did. I showed her how to do that and how to uh, get the images. And then my daughter started helping us. Oh, I'm going right off. Okay, this ain't going to work. I'm starting to veer off from, from here. It looks awful. So I started, um, you know what, this needle is, I don't even have anything small, I don't think. I'm just going to have to deal with it until I'm done. Um, so yeah, we did the, we did the napkins for her while she was putting on the decoupage onto the egg surface. And then, um, she put, whoop, Sorry about that. She put the um, napkins onto the egg and smoothed them out and everything. So I have three more eggs to work with. And I really wanted to do them on camera, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's going to be, you know, it's just going to be a lot to do that. Okay, let's see. I don't even have one of my rent, uh, my, ugh. I usually have my um, jewelry tools around, my bent nose pliers and stuff like that. Oof, my shoulders. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that out. Like I said, this is not glamorous. I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't have beautiful, pretty Victorian lace and all that crap. Um, hopefully at some point I'll be able to, you know, get that going. I'm going to use this thread. This is so much easier to maneuver with this needle through the, um, that can go over there. I almost didn't make this video because I couldn't get I was trying to get OBS to recognize my um, my webcam, and what happened was, for some reason, when you're doing an update on um, OBS, which it asks for an update, and like a dummy, I decided to let it update. <laughs> Big mistake. Wrong way. So once it updated, it did not recognize um, my camera. And I deleted the camera out of OBS. I'm going to try to mess with it later and see if I can. Um, 
delete all the cameras out and then go back in and see if I can just add a camera. Because it doesn't like you to, for some reason, OBS doesn't like you to put too many cameras, you know, too many scenes and too many uh, sources and all that. It, it doesn't like that. So it decides that it's not going to work for you if you want to add extra stuff. And I'm not sure why it does that, but it does it. Oop. Okay. <sighs> yeah. This tag's going to be ugly. Oh. Let's see what we got here. So it's going to be ugly anyway, so we'll put the ugly, we'll put all the ugly, uh, <laughs> the ugly buttons. Hate doing buttons too. I can never find the hole to go back. I still haven't finished my other tag over here, um, number 12. I still have this. I still have to um, do the satin stitch and some other things. I just haven't had any time. I'm just doing one video a week right now. I've been busy with other things. Um, I found out a couple of days ago uh, that my cat has kidney disease. Uh, she had been scratching and scratching and scratching her neck so bad she made it raw. And um, so I took it to the vet for that. And because of her age, um, the vet said, uh, well, this looks dirty. I wonder what's all over that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had to um, bring it to the vet on Monday. And then they looked at her and he said, you know, she's 14 years old and we need to do all these tests. And I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. So they started, you know, they did these tests to rule out because she's 14 years old. And they did these tests to rule out 
anything going on because for allergies like that, um, they usually give them steroids. So anyway, um, he said, let, th let us do these tests. He said, we're going to uh, shave her neck just to get all the stuff off of it, you know. Uh, the Not really the scabs, but there was, you know, she had really made a mess of her neck and they do remo remove a lot of the scabbing because that in the hair because it helps it to heal. So anyway, um, they did that. Okay, let me see. Um, oh wait a minute, I could do it up here because this is loose. Yeah, I'll do it up here. Um, so they did, the, they started, they did a, um, what is it, thyroid test. Uh, they did all kinds of tests. They said they wanted to make sure that uh, she wouldn't, um, oh, this is all twisted. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this and I'm getting distracted. Um, they, okay, so they did these tests. They did thyroid because he had a suspicion about thyroid and some other things. So he did the tests and uh, it turned out they did blood tests. They did every test known to man, I guess, you know. So they they did as much as they could and then they he came back and he said, well, she has the early signs of kidney disease. And I'm like, oh, great. And, uh, and I said, what causes it? And uh, he, he said um, that as they get older, they see it a lot with cats. But, like, I don't think anybody really knows how, you know, what causes the kidney disease in cats because... I started researching about it, and they were blaming all kinds of, um, uh, what do you call it, um, poisons and things like that, you know, and he said that, oh, okay, and someone else told me, one of the other vet techs said that it could be caused by the crappy cat food like friskies and all that because apparently they have to lower their phosphorus in their body and these other things that are in um, the cat food they have to lower things like the protein has to be lowered and the um uh what is it phosphorus there's a few things they have to lower so that they could um make sure that the the animal doesn't you know progress they they said they can't cure kidney disease they said all they can do is maintain the the animal on a special diet that'll slow down the process of the disease i mean i don't know if anyone else knows anything about it can they leave you know information in the in the comments um you know, if anybody knows anything about it. I mean, I didn't find a lot of information on it. All I saw was they were blaming it on cats drinking antifreeze and getting into poisons that they put out for rats and things like that. My cat is an indoor cat. She's never been an outdoor cat. She's always been indoors. She's never roamed. She wasn't the type of cat. She wanted to stay in the house. She never wanted to go outside. If she heard it, I mean, 
even on my patio, the other house I lived at, if she went out there when I was doing something in the garden and she heard a noise, she'd immediately run back in the house. She really did not want nothing to do with the outdoors. Okay, let me see. I got my art glitter glue. And, um, oop. I'm just going to call this done. I think I, no, I didn't go over good. I'm just going to call this done. <laughs> I guess it goes with the number, number 13. It looks creepy, doesn't it? It's creepy and ugly. <laughs> Let me write, I wrote on the back already, but I'm going to put number 13 here. I actually have a friend that loves Halloween. I mean, even all through the year, she loves it. And I got, I actually, over the weekend, I got some um, journal kits that are Halloween-based, the digital kits. So I bought like three Halloween kits, all different. And I got the ephemera kits for the Halloween. And I got a masquerade ball type thing to put in there too, because some of the pages were really, really nice. Um, and I just kind of want to mix up the different, I'm going to mix the different kits together. Okay, this is number 13. This is uh, layers. I know I didn't do a lot of layers, but I tried to, you know, <laughs> do the best I can. Okay, 12. Okay, this is, I'm going to put this on here. It should stay because I put the art glitter glue. I do have Fabri-Tac. Uh, I did put it away because I kind of was, wasn't that thrilled with it. I did use it on a couple of projects I worked on over the last few days. And um, I used it with, material and paper and a uh, fabric and paper and it fell apart and I was like why did this fall apart I'm using Fabri-Tac but it did so I decided you know I'm going to stick that up somewhere so yeah this is number 13 and let's see I've got number two. I got one and two, and now I have 